Cape Town. The second largest city of South Africa is one of the most culturally diverse cities on earth. The city is affectionately called the mother city. This port city sits on the southwest coast of South Africa on Cape Peninsula. This is one of the most picturesque places of the world as this is the converging point of Atlantic Ocean and Indian Ocean whereas the gorgeous mountain sets the backdrop of the city. In ancient time, most of the European ships were used to get damaged at Cape of Good Hope while traveling to the east. To reconstruct those ships, Dutch people made a small outpost in this region in 1642. This small settlement is now blossomed into one of the most beautiful cities of the world, which attracts numerous tourists across the globe with its overwhelming beauty and multicultural nature. The central part of Cape Town is City Bowl. This is a natural amphitheater-shaped area stretched between Table Bay and the two-mile-long plateau of Table Mountain. At the center of City Bowl, there stands the Castle of Good Hope. This fort was built between 1666 and 1679 by the Dutch East India Company. Once, this fort was served as a military garrison and prison. At present, it is transformed as a museum, a heritage site and a tourist attraction of the city. Visit nearby Company's Garden next. It is the oldest garden and a heritage park located at the heart of Cape Town. This garden was created in the 1650s for providing fresh grown vegetables to the settlement as well as the passing by ships. Surrounding Company's Garden, you will find some of the important government institutions like the Parliament Building, and National Library. On the south of Company's Garden, visit South African Museum and Planetarium. Both are located in the same building. See over 1.5 million cultural and scientific exhibits here at the South African Museum. At a stone throwing distance away, visit the National Gallery. You will be amazed by the picturesque art collections displayed here. Nearby, South African Jewish Museum will tell you an engaging account of South African Jewish history. Your next stop will be the District 6 Museum. In 1966, the then South African government evacuated 60,000 non-white residents from this place to enforce apartheid and declared the area a white-only zone. Years later, the District 6 Museum is created as a reminder of those tragic incidents. You can cover all the ever places in a guided city sightseeing walking tour which will take around 90 minutes. Just 5 minutes drive to the west from the city centre, visit Signal Hill. From the 360 meter height of this hill, observe the gorgeous aerial view of the Cape Town city, the majestic Table Bay and glittering Atlantic Ocean. The place was named so because in old days signal flags were flown from here to send messages to the approaching ships. Visit the adjacent Lion's Head Peak, which is another landmark of the city. A place of Cape Town that was not bulldozed during apartheid is Moka. Visit here to catch a real glimpse of freedom. Formerly known as the Malay Quarter, this vibrant area is home to Cape Town's Muslim community, consisting of those who have descended from the Cape Malays, slaves brought from Indonesia, Malaysia and other African countries. It is one of the most colorful hilly regions of the city. 
while on the lease all these houses here were plain white and after the rule was lifted residents of the place celebrated their freedom by painting their houses with bright and happy colors Cape Town loves its coffee If you are also a coffee lover then fix your caffeine at a place like Truth Coffee Roasting which is one of the best coffee shops in the world Apart from Truth you will find loads of coffee shops all around this city Now it's time to dig deep inside Cape Town visit the oldest harbor of South Africa Victoria and Alfred waterfront. The district is now one of the top tourist attractions of the city. Millions of visitors flock here to the shops, jazz venues, restaurants, theaters and museums. Do visit the prime tourist attraction here, the Two Ocean Aquarium, which showcases marine lives of both Atlantic and Indian Ocean. The waterfront district is also the gateway to another infamous place, Robben Island. For 400 years this was a brutal prison. It is the place where Nelson Mandela spent 18 years during apartheid era. Listen interesting stories of this hellish prison from the guides who are former inmates here. From every corner of Cape Town A landmark which is clearly visible is the Table Mountain. This majestic beds of sandstone and slate reminds you all the time that nature is the queen at this place. From the Table Mountain National Park, take the walking trail up to the summit of the mountain. Or ride a cable car to the upper station viewing terrace. that offer stunning views of the signal hill lion's head and devil's peak on the eastern slopes of table mountain there is kerstenbosch botanical gardens which is a unesco world heritage site the gardens were established in 1913 to preserve the country's native flora and is one of the first botanical gardens in the world with this mission Explore Boomslang Walkway which trails through the garden's canopy. Cape Town is a great beach city. Numerous picturesque beaches are dotted along the western coast of Cape Peninsula. Start your beach tour from the Great Milton Beach at the city center. Just 6 km away from the busy city center you will come to Clifton and Camps Bay beaches. The four gorgeous white sand beaches are an excellent place for adventure sports activities and offers stunning views of magnificent 12 apostles and lions at peak. If you are feeling hungry, the bars and cafes here are always there to serve you the best dining experiences. About an hour drive from the town, nestled in the quaint town of Simons, Boulders Beach is a heaven for over 2000 African penguins. Witness these tiny creatures walking in a row with small disciplined steps in the most picturesque landscape with rocks, boulders and glittering white sand. Sixty kilometer outside the city. Cape Point is one of the best places to visit in Cape Town. Its huge stone cliffs, spectacular bays, rolling green hills, and lush valleys are home to around 250 different bird species. Cape Town is not just a beach city. It is also one of the finest wine-growing cities in the world. Only 30 minutes drive away from the city center. The hop on hop of experience is the best way to discover the true essence of the Constantia's picturesque vineyards. Warm hospitality, fine wines, world class cuisine and a 300 year history of wine growing. Anytime you can book this tour online.
from its very first day as a tiny port city cape town passes through the toughest road of apartheid era and from there emerges as a rainbow city where every color brings the joy of freedom hope and transformation visit cape town to enjoy this color of hope and transformation if you love this tour plan then please like and share the video also do let us know your opinion in the comment section below your opinion means a lot to us thanks for watching it